Hello and welcome to Flash Chapter 5, Lesson 6. Now, I will be totally honest with you and tell you that this particular lesson is a lesson in minutia and is actually painful at some point in time. Um, I'm not going to do the whole lesson as I usually do because it's better that you kind of understand the point of what it's trying to do and then I give you some ideas. For instance, I'm going to do part of it where it says open uh, FL5 underscore 7, which I did. It says then save it as puzzle, blah, blah, blah. It's a change. Click frame 1 on image 1 layer. So here's my image 1 layer. And here's frame 1. And I'm inserting a motion tween. So it says insert and then motion tween. And then it gives me motion tween, and I want to drag that tween space to 40, which is over here. Now, it says click frame 20 on the image one layer. So click frame 20, and then select 3D transition tool. And here's our 3 Now, this is our 3D transition tool or rotation tool. So we're going to choose our 3D transition tool that's going to look like this. Now, when this comes up, it tells you to move all these things around and, and start, and you're going to have to move all the images overall in this entire thing and put them in a specific place. And what it's doing is it's recording the animation of you moving it from point A to point B. And then when you get all these flips involved, it actually moves them around. I'm sorry, Christian and his henchmen uh, distracted me momentarily. I will get back to work. All right, so as I take a look at this right here, you'll notice I take my mouse pointer over these items, and I'll, this turns into the delta X. This turns into the delta Y. What's going on here is it allows me to basically click on this, and I can move it in the direction, in either direction of the arrow. So if I click on this and move down, it moves down, it moves up. I can click on this, and it moves over, left, or right. And what's going on is I'm moving this to its final destination. And in this particular case, it wants me to move it right here. And it looks similar to that. So that's your X and Y. So it allows you to move on that indices. Also, if you grab your, if I come along in here and I change it to the 3D rotation tool, I've got two different, I have a z-axis, so I, I grab my z-axis and I do this, and it allows me to turn it this particular way. And you'll get into it on um, flash 5-37. And then I could also take my y-axis here when it's on this, and it'll flip back and forth, but only the 3D transi translation tool, or transition tool. So if I go here, I can't see it. If I do here, it totally flips up and down, right? So what basically happens throughout this entire lesson, and it does take a little while. As I click on this image, I will then have the, then I'll have this particular second image. And then I will have to move this image to where it tells me to move it after inserting a motion tween. And then I will have to move another image. And what goes on is, is when you actually run it, it records what occurs with that image. So slowly but surely, you move all the images from the side, and then you create a puzzle. So if I'm coming along on this one, I then insert a, right here, I then insert a motion tween, drag it all the way out. So if I do insert motion tween, and then I drag it all the way out to 40, and then from here, I'm actually moving this one around. So if I want to like flip it this way, and I'm then I'm taking it and I want to move it to the 3D tool, going up and going left. So in this particular case, it's a process of moving all these images to where you want it to go and animating this. The way it looks in the long run is this. So it records, and this is what you're doing. You're doing all these image flipping, so it creates this. So, for instance, on the first image, if I blank out all these images, it's recording you, all right, oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. here's my image here. It's recording you, all right, I'm, I'm flipping it over, 
and then I'm slowly moving it in one direction, and I'm flipping it two ways, and then I'm moving it to its portion right there. So I flipped it twice. And so the instructions are telling you flip it twice, and that's image four. And then image three, here we go. It's flipping it end over end, and it's moving it to that position, and it records all that as it takes place. And here's the next image, and it can be painful at times. And you basically go through all these steps to move all these images, and so in the long run, you're creating a puzzle that does that. And all the movements that it talks about on Flash 5-36, all the way through 5-39, accomplish that. And what they're doing is they're actually, if you look at 5-35, they are moving things along the axis according to the xy axis mathematically and and the z of course gives us our 3d rotation so if you have any further questions for me let me know i'm not going to go through every single step with the image but in the long run you should be aware that each one of these images flip this particular way. So this will be a great reference to kind of get back to to understand, okay, that image is flipping this way, that image is flipping that way. And what I'll do is I'll close each one of these so you can see it. Um, here's image two, flipping end over end, and slowly falling into place. Here's image three, flipping end over end that way, and then in place. Image four, and over end in place, and image one. All right, there you go. No, 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 no. All right. If you have any further questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, I believe oh, we have one more lesson in chapter five, which is lesson seven, using the deco tool. So after that, we should be, we should only have three chapters left in Flash. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.